to my channel so in this video i'll be showing you how to sew and how to enclose your seam to achieve that in seam finishing okay so if you're here to see the first video please i'll suggest that you go and watch it so you understand how we get to this stage so i've gone ahead to iron this upper part of the gown iron it at facing and also pad it as you can see you see and for the bar, upper back, I iron and interfacing as you can see. So the next thing I'm going to do is to join these pieces together. I also join the lining. Okay. And for the upper back, I'll take my darts and also take the darts on the lining. Okay. So when I'm done doing that, I'm going to fix my yoke on the main fabric. Okay, I'm going to fix the yoke on the main fabric and when I'm done doing that, I will come back and show you what to do next. So before I continue, I want to quickly show you how to fix your yoke, how to sew your yoke. So you can see I've already joined this part, can you see? So what I'm going to do is to get the midpoint and this is the midpoint. And you see, that's the center point. I'm going to notch it. Okay. And get the midpoint of the yoke. And you see. So I'll also notch that part as well. Next thing I'm going to do is to bring the two midpoints together this way. Can you see what I'm doing? Like the right side of the yoke and the right side of the main fabric be facing each other. So the yoke, I'm going to bring the midpoint together this way, making sure that the yoke comes out like by a half or one quarter this way. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do is to pin it down. So you can start by sewing from this midpoint to this end, or you can decide to sew from this end, then go around to the other end. So when you're done doing that, you now turn with your lining. You have to sew the yoke and the main fabric first before adding your lining, then you sew again, okay? So that is how to do that. So if you bring out your yoke this way, you will notice that you won't be having fold around the center of your yoke. But if you don't do it, by the time you finish sewing, you will notice some fold around this side, as in around the uh, midpoint. Okay? So please do it this way so you can achieve a very clean and neat uh, yoke. Okay? So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'll go and fix the yoke. Turn it with the lining and I will come back and show you what to do next. So I'm done fixing the yoke as you can see. You can see my yoke looking very clean. Can you see? And also the bask. And I fix my bony as you can see. Turn the neckline with the lining. Can you see? So my back, I turned the neckline of the back using my lining. I left the shoulder and the armhole open. Can you see? And also fix the darts. Can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do is to join the shoulder of the back and of the front. Okay? So what I'm going to do is to place the front on top of the back, right side facing right side, this way. Can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do is to take the lining of the back, bring it to the front this way, use it to cover the front this way, can you see, and I'll pin it down and sew by 0.5, okay? So when I'm done doing that, by the time I turn the lining to the back, it will cover the shoulder seam, okay? 
it will conceal the shoulder seam. So when I'm done doing that, I'm going to close the sides. So I'll close the side this way. The main fabric, I'll close the uh, main fabric first. Then I'll close the lining, making sure that the seam of the lining and the seam of the uh, the main fabric is inside, that is at the wrong side, okay? So I'll join the sides this way and join the lining this way. It has to be separate, okay? So when I'm done doing that, I'll come back and show you. But before I go, when I'm joining the side, I'll, when I, uh, before I get to the waistline, I'll stop by one inch, I'll stop one inch before the waistline, okay? That will enable me to join the upper uh, parts to the lower part of the gown. So I'll quickly do that and I'll come back and show you what to do next. So I'm done uh, joining the shoulder as you can see. See how the inside look like. Can you see? On the outside. Can you see? So this is the inside. Can you see? The side seam is hidden on the long side. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Looking very neat. Now, another secret to achieving a very clean and neat uh, finishing is ironing. You have to iron at every point in time. When you sew, you iron. When you sew, you iron. Okay? So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to fix the lower part of the gown. So I've gone ahead to join the lower part of the gown, the sides. So this is the lower part of the gown. I've joined the two sides. Then for the main fabric, I join the, the center back, leaving some inches where I'll be fixing the zipper. Can you see? I also left some inches by the side so that it will be easier for me to join to the upper part without any struggle. Okay? Can you see? So this is the center back. This is center back. This is where I'll be fixing the uh, zipper. And this is the front. Can you see? So for the hem, I've gone ahead to turn the hem using the clinoline. Can you see? So this is the clinoline. What I did is just to bring the clinoline very close to the edge. I sew very close to the edge, then turn the clinoline to the wrong side of the fabric and secure the clinoline by running the stitches at the top of it this way. But if you don't want your seam to show, you will use a hemming gum and iron it very well until when the hemming gum disappears into your fabric. That way, you secure the cleanly, but with time it will still pull. So I would suggest that you run the stitches round it so you secure it properly. So that's that. So for the lower part of the gown, that's the lining side, I left the center back open. That's the zipper side. I left it open. Can you see? Um, for the side, I left some inches before joining. Can you see? So what I'm going to do now is to fix the lower part to the upper part, okay? Then I'll join the side, as in close the sides, leaving the zipper. Then I'll come back and show you what to do next. Remember when joining the lower part to the upper part, it has to be main fabric to main fabric, lining to lining. It has to be different. The main fabric will join to the main uh, fabric of the upper part, the lining, you join lining to the uh, lining of the upper part. So that is how to go about it. So I've joined the lower part of the gown and closed the sides. Can you see? And also the lining, joined to the lower part and closed the side, leaving the center back still open. Can you see? You can see that the line is on its own and the main fabric is on its own. So the next thing I'm going to do is to fix the zipper. I'm going to fix it on the main fabric without the lining. I'll fix my sleeve that I've cut out as a short sleeve. 
with a short sleeve. So when I'm done doing that, I'll come back and show you how to use the lining to cover the edge of your uh, zipper. Okay, I'm done fixing the sleeve, you can see. And this is the second one. I've also fixed my zipper, as you can see. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to open up my zipper this way. And this is my lining, you can see it's on its own. So I'll open up the zipper allowance this way, bring my lining and place it on top of the right side of the main fabric this way. And you see what I'm doing? So I'll look at where I have the joining at the waist and where I have joining at the waist are the uh, lining and also the main fabric. So I'll match it up, pin it down, and you see. So what I'm going to do next is to run the stitches from this part here and the neck part. I'm going to sew down to one inch below the zipper head. So while I'm sewing, I'll, make, I'll be using my hand to feel where the zipper teeth is, not to sew on it, okay? So I'll sew down to one inch below the zipper head. Can you see the zipper head? So when I'm done sewing, I'll end up concealing the zipper edge and the zipper allowance. I'm done sewing. Can you see? So the next thing is to turn it out. Can you see? Ended up covering the zipper edge and the zipper allowance. Can you see? And this the other side. Can you see? So for the lining part that is still open, you can see that it's uh, this the center back is still open that is for the lining i'm going to cover it by from the edge uh, from the hem part i'm going to sew by one inch to cover it up so this is the finished look you can see that all the seam allowance are hidden on the wrong side the only seam allowance we are seeing here is that of the sleeve. Can you see? So this is the front. Can you see? Looking very neat. Even without ironing it. It's looking very neat. So this is the front. I'm going ahead to fix the sequence fringe around the armhole. Do you see? And this is the full length of the gown. Can you see? Can you see? The back. very neat and clean. Can you see? Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!